Madam Speaker, Mr. DDM was offered appointment as Financial Secretary with effect from 1st December 1990, and he held the post up to 2nd August 1999. He was reappointed Financial Secretary with effect from 9th October 2013, and his contract of appointment was renewed for a further period of two years with effect from 9th October 2015. As regards part A and B of the question, given that no specific period has been mentioned, the information sought is being compiled for the period 1st December 1990 to date that is during the tenure of office of Mr. DDM as Financial Secretary. Yes, Madam Speaker, my question relates to the recent appointment by this government, uh, and I believe same question was asked for Mr. Gérard Samper, and uh, the question was answered. So I don't understand why we have to uh, compile and then table all the information in relation to Mr. Diem. Madam Speaker, maybe the member does not even know what question he has asked. Let me read the question. Let me read it so that you can understand. Let me read it. Whether, whether in regard, the question is as follows. Whether in regard to Mr. D. Diem, he will state the date and terms and conditions of appointment thereof as financial secretary, indicating the number of overseas missions attended, indicating in each case the countries visited, duration and purposes thereof, composition of delegations and costs thereof in terms of air tickets. And Honourable Honourable Amemia, I think the Honourable Prime Minister has well understood your question and he has given his reply. Now, on the basis of his reply, you can have other supplementary questions. Okay? Yeah, Madam Speaker, we are we are it's our right to ask questions because this, these people are paid with public funds. My question this is in relation to appointment by your government. You as Prime Minister, you as Finance Minister, I didn't ask questions for 1990. So, no, my, I'm, I'm my I'm question... Sorry, Honorable In your question, you didn't give any date. You, if in your question, you would have said, as from such date, you didn't give any date. Okay. Yes. Uh, reply? You, oh, you haven't asked. Yes, my question, maybe I will read it so that you understand it now. No, because my question is clear. And now my question is clear. Section B of my question, it says, parastatal bodies and state-owned companies on which he is chairperson and board member, indicating in each case date of appointment. Is what do you why do you understand by is? Madam Speaker, the question does not mention any date or any year. And Mr. DDM, in fact, had been offered employment as financial secretary since the first of December 1990. So this honourable member, if he reads his question, he should have, if he intended the question to be on. The, in this year, he should have asked for this year. What's so big? He's so big. Please, Honorable Amiya, you are got another question. Please, Honorable Amiya, you have got another question. You've got a supplementary question, also a supplementary question. This government boasts so much about good governance. Well, a less, less, less now. Nowadays, it's a bit less. Yes. And do you, do you find it normal that uh, Mr. DM? as financial secretary is also the chairperson of the Financial Services Commission, which is supposedly 
an independent, distinct authority. Do you find it normal for an FS to be chairman of the FS? Okay, Madam Speaker, I said in my reply that all this information is being compiled and will be laid on the table of the National Assembly. Um, talking about good governance, maybe when the Honorable Prime Minister is going to compute the list, he will take into account and he tells whether he found it normal that a chairman of the Financial Services Commission, which is the regulator, which regulates listed company, and Mr. MD is director of listed companies, including Air Mauritius, which is regulated by himself as the FSC. Does he find that normal? Well, he, as, as a financial secretary, it's not only the first time that a financial secretary is a member of the Air Mauritius board. Uh, they, you spoke about Air Mauritius, but, but previously also in other governments, the financial secretary has been sitting as a member of, of uh, the board of air motions. Next question, Honorable Bagwan. So, I want to, Madam 